Welcome into the Kansas City Chiefs Report. I am your host, Harrison Graham, and the Chiefs have improved to 1-0 on the season after, quite frankly, a dominant victory over the Arizona Cardinals. 44-21, they raced out to a 37-7 lead, and then Arizona added a couple of garbage time touchdowns, but this final score doesn't even put it to justice uh, how bad this was for Arizona. Kyler Murray just said at the podium, we got our ass kicked today. Uh, this was blowout city. Patrick Mahomes looked great from start to finish. Lots of guys were getting involved. Travis Kelsey is still Travis Kelsey. And I think most significantly, the defense looks much improved. Much improved through one game. A lot of good signs. A couple little injury things uh, that we'll talk about as well. But I think through one game, you got to be pretty fired up if you are a Chiefs fan. Spam W in the chat or dub, D-U-B, whatever you want to type. Chiefs are one and zero. Type dub in the chat. Let's go. Week one victory for Kansas City. They improved to one and zero to start this season before a big game on Thursday night football next week against the Los Angeles Chargers. We'll have a live watch party for that as well. So subscribe and join us. But one and zero. Type dub in the chat. Let's talk about the quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, who was special. 30 of 39, 360 yards, had five, count them, five touchdowns, and missed a couple throws, too, to McCall Hardman. It could have been a lot more, but everybody wanted all offseason. No Tyree Kill. What's he going to do? Well, what he's going to do is look like the best quarterback in football. I mean, he was just slicing and dicing Arizona. Uh, the Chiefs could do literally whatever they wanted offensively, especially in the passing game. It was absolutely dominant. Mahomes looked comfortable. He was having fun. He was dicing from the pocket. When he was evading pressure, he was making plays. He did what he does. Five tutties, no picks, easy money. Uh, he was absolutely fantastic. You know who else had a good game? Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Now, he only had 42 rushing yards, but he averaged six yards a carry on the seven carries that he got. Two receiving touchdowns. They finally threw the football to him. I've been saying this for two years. The biggest strength of his game coming out of LSU was his pass-catching ability, in my opinion, and we haven't seen a ton of that early on. It was only 32 receiving yards, but two touchdowns. You can utilize him in the passing game. Uh, the Chiefs did one of their patented funky red zone plays where uh, Edwards-Alaire motions back to the fullback position. Mahomes kind of rolls out and then underhand tosses it to a CEH for a touchdown. That was nice to see. He caught another one out of the backfield for a touchdown as well. I was impressed with Clyde's Edwards Hilaire. Now, when the game was out of reach, we saw Isaiah Pacheco, the rookie out of Rutgers, he looked really good. Isaiah Pacheco really, really ran well as we kind of stay on this running back theme. Had 10 carries, I believe 62 yards, something like that. Uh, had his first career touchdown as well. I was pleased with what we saw out of him. Now, you look at the overall stats. I mean, just dominant, right? Almost 500 yards, 360 passing, 128 rushing, 5 of 8 on third down. Uh, just three penalties for 25 yards. Disciplined play. Got to be disciplined, especially when you go on the road. Um, had one turnover. Juju Smith-Schuster fumbled, but he had a, a nice game as well. Had 79 yards at halftime. Uh, looking pretty good for him overall. That was really the only kind of miscue for the Chiefs offense today was that Smith-Schuster fumble, but they were terrific. 44 points against the playoff team from a year ago in Arizona. That's, that's a dominant performance for the offense. Hit that subscribe button. We'll have more coverage throughout the week leading up to Thursday Night Football. I think we'll go live tomorrow. We've missed the last couple of weeks. Uh, either way, we'll for sure at least have a video, but we'll probably go live as well on the channel, youtube.com slash Chiefs TV, the latest news and rumors leading up to Thursday Night Football. Overreaction Monday tomorrow. Should be a lot of fun. Chiefs look good, man. Look like one of the best teams, if not the best team in the league. Go ahead and subscribe right now. I mentioned Juju, six catches, 79 yards. Did fumble, but I thought he looked smooth overall. Uh, did put the one on the turf, but uh, he looked like a guy ready for a big year. All that damage in the first half, by the way. Uh, so uh, that was nice to see. Travis Kelsey, he's still Travis Kelsey. Nine targets, eight catches, 121 yards, and a touchdown. All reliable. I mean, he, he's just so good. Route running technician, always open when Mahomes needs him to be. Um, he doesn't look like a guy who's 33. He looks like he's 28. I mean, he's he's not slowing down anytime soon. He was awesome. Now, McCall Hardman, you look at this Ross Dowling, you're like, ah, three catches, 16 yards on six targets. Sure, the touchdown. Uh, Mahomes overthrew him twice on what could have been two more touchdowns. He, stro he uh, 
th- ran a slot fade where he burned the defender. Mahomes slightly overthrew him. Uh, deep cross where Mahomes slightly missed him as well. If he catches both of those, you're talking about five catches, 110 yards, and three touchdowns. I mean, he, McCole Hardman was getting open uh, pretty consistently here. I was glad to see him get a touchdown late in the game because he earned one today uh, with his ability to get open. So, hey, share the wealth. Five touchdowns, four different guys catching them in the passing game. Pacheco runs in another one, six different guys scoring touchdowns. You'll love to see it. Big win for Kansas City. Grade the Chiefs' performance as a whole against Arizona. Then we'll talk about some injuries and talk a little bit about the defense. A, B, C, D, or F. Grade the Chiefs' performance today. I mean, it's an A, A minus at worst if you want to talk about the Smith-Schuster fumble, but Chiefs are really good, really, really good today. I'll give it an A performance overall. Now, you look at the Cardinal stats offensively, kind of the Chiefs' defensive numbers here. 290 yards, over 100 of that in garbage time, uh, maybe more like 150. 187 passing, 103 rushing. Uh, Cardinals were 3 of 12 on third down. Uh, they had five penalties, 49 yards. This was so one-sided, it's not even close. I, I mean... It, Kansas City was so dominant in this game, uh, it was never competitive. Like I said, 37-7 at one point, ended up 44-21. Now, Trent McDuffie, who was having a good game in coverage, left this game with a hamstring injury, I believe, in the third quarter. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll see how significant it is. It's possible they just held him out uh, to be cautionary, but uh, not really sure uh, the severity of that at this point in time. A couple other injury notes. Excuse me, got the little sniffles today. Uh, Harrison Butker left with an ankle injury. Plant leg on a kickoff, slipped out from under him, kind of rolled that ankle. Missed about a quarter, quarter and a half. Um, so Eric or Justin Reed was handling kickoff duties and extra points for about a quarter. Made an extra point, missed another one. Uh, but late in the first half, Butker returned. Hit a 54-yard field goal where he only took one step to kick it. Was able to handle uh, extra point duties the rest of the day. Justin Reed handled kickoff duties the rest of the day. That's a nice luxury to have when your strong safety uh, can boot the ball into the end zone pretty consistently. Only a couple of his kickoffs got returned. So uh, Justin Reed getting to show off the leg a little bit. But we'll see uh, uh, how Butker wakes up tomorrow. That ankle, left ankle might be swollen a little bit. Short week. Uh, so for him and Trip McDuffie, who left with the hamstring, quick turnaround, got to play on Thursday night. So a couple of injury updates to kind of monitor there throughout the week, which is something we will certainly do. You a real one? Are you a real one? If you're a real one, what does that mean? You're a Chiefs fan. You love the Chiefs report. You're a big fan of this team. Get a real one t-shirt, chatsports.com slash realkc. Pick one up today. We'll have the links in the comments and in the description of this video. If you're a real one, prove it. Get yourself a t-shirt right now and type real one down in the comments. Just to talk about the defense a little more, sure, Kyler Murray's raw stats in the end don't look too bad, but producer Sam will attest. I mean, how many of these are just dump downs to the running backs at the end of the game <laughs> where, uh, you know, the Chiefs are playing soft coverage? Uh, threw for 193, two touchdowns, uh, but he was largely ineffective. Obviously, no DeAndre Hopkins, no Rondale Moore. He missed some guys, but uh, uh, he could not get much going. Legereus Sneed had a strong game, seven tackles. He also had a sack, tackle for loss pass breakup. He was awesome. A uh, couple of other defensive standouts. Nick Bolton led the team with 10 tackles. Carlos Dunlap in his first action didn't play in the preseason. Uh, he, w- uh, he was able to add a sack. Uh, so guys were everywhere, man. Guys were everywhere. The defense looks improved. The offense looks as good as ever. Uh, Clyde edwards Lair shows some burst. Mahomes is Mahomes. Kelsey is Kelsey. You couldn't have asked for a better start to the season. You really, really couldn't as the Chiefs are able to knock off the Cardinals 44 to 21 in week one to start the season one and oh and now you got a big matchup on Thursday night the Chargers um, beat the Raiders in week one Uh, this game at Arrowhead on Thursday it's going to be rocking going to be fun Uh, winner takes an early lead in the AFC West to start two and oh so should be a lot uh, a lot of fun this week all right we'll kind of end this post game reaction on this uh, question Hey, it's one week, but what do you guys think? Are the Chiefs the best team in the NFL? Type Y for yes, type in for no. They're certainly in the conversation. Buffalo was great on Thursday, too. They're in the talks as well. These could be the top two teams, Buffalo and Kansas City. You let me know. Y for yes and for no. Are the Chiefs the best team in the league? All right, that's going to do it for today's Chiefs postgame show. Again, we'll have some kind of video tomorrow. I'll probably go live, but if not, we'll still have a video. Uh, so be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Appreciate you guys very much. I'm Harrison Graham. Uh, we will see you tomorrow here on the Chiefs Report.